What's everybody? So last video you guys saw, we ended up getting the Civic, new headlights, new grill, new front lip, and new rear lip. So it was a complete makeover, made the whole car look so much better, but there's a few more things that need to be refreshed on the car. Now, if you guys know, most Civics from this generation have issues with their trims, their moldings, and stuff like that. They get really brittle over time and look nasty. So I'm gonna go and show you guys what I'm talking about, and then we'll show you what the fix is. So you guys can see exactly what pieces I'm talking about when I say I want to refresh this. We've got the roof molding here, we've got the door garnish here, and then we've got the lower belt molding here. Now all these pieces on the 6th gen Civics, for some reason, just start to deteriorate over time. You can see here, starting to warp here, got a little bit of warp back there. It's very dry, brittle, just deteriorating. Same thing with these belt moldings here. You can see the black is fading away, so we're starting to show through. It's getting these little cracks and chips and stuff in it, which just look terrible. And then this door garnish here. You can see it doesn't look terrible on here. It is a little bit faded, a little splotchy, and uh, it does feel a little grippy, like somebody did go through and plastic dip it. And that seems to be the main common fix that most people do to fix these and have them look good, is they'll either paint them, plastic dip them, or vinyl wrap them. But I wanna bring it back to factory fresh, so by doing that, we're gonna need some OEM parts. And that's exactly what I got here. So let's go ahead, unbox this stuff, and show you exactly what I got. So here are the pieces that we have. These are the garnishes, the pieces that go against the doors. There's the part number for it. So these are the left and right side. So if you guys are wanting to order these pieces, these are the parts for them. And then we have these here, which these would be the belt moldings. So there's that number for that. That number for the other side. And then we have here the two roof moldings. So I've got this one and this one here. So we have right and left. So these are the pieces. And then I also picked up these here, which are the taillight gaskets. Mine were leaking, getting a little bit of water on the inside. So I figured we replace these today as well. So we'll go ahead and start off here on the passenger side and do the garnish, belt molding, and the roof molding. I'll show you guys how to take that off and then put new ones on. So in order to do the belt molding and the garnish here, we're gonna to need to come on the inside here. And then on the back side, there's one, two, three Phillip head screws here. We'll take those off. When you get those off, this garnish piece will come off. And then this, you'll basically just kind of have to reach and pry and it should slide out. I don't think we need to take the mirror off. It should be able to pull out just enough that we can get this off all the way. So let's go and set you guys up and uh, get this disassembled. So here's a new garnish for the passenger side door. Looks to be in pretty good shape. Brand new belt molding. That thing looks real nice. It's got the felt inside there for the window. Brand new clips. that to that inside is nasty all cracked and gross brand new fresh nice pliable rubber compared to this thing just hard brittle all cracked out and gross so before I install all this stuff I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the roof moldings where these were setting because it's kind of gross and dirty on the inside. We'll wipe down these areas too where those are setting as well as the garnishes. So 
underneath those moldings was just disgusting. <laughs> we got it clean though, so now we can go ahead. Throw on the new pipes. Oh yeah, that's looking way better. So much nicer. The only trick is when you do to put these on, you gotta make sure that it slides underneath the mirror or you can take the mirror off just to have things a little bit easier. But in my case, just kind of lift up on the mirror a little bit and it slides under there just fine. Just to give you enough clearance for right here. But yeah, brand new garnish there, brand new belt molding. Next up, roof molding. like that, brand new roof molding. That looks so much better than what the other craft was before. You guys can see there, nice rubber seal. Doesn't make any noise. Looking crispy, not all dried out and br brittle. Same thing with that. And that just looks awesome. The paint, on the other hand, we'll need to address that at some point. But as far as the moldings and stuff go, those look awesome. Now, if I take you guys over to the other side here, just give you guys a quick comparison of how it was. You can see there how blotchy and stuff that is. This side's way worse, super brittle. And then same thing up here. Just the difference in sound, look, everything. So now we'll go ahead, tackle the driver's side here and get this complete too. And then we'll go ahead, move on to the back and take care of those taillight seals. Now we got the driver's side looking all good and fresh, much better. So now that's complete. We can go ahead, move on to the rear end because all we got is two taillight gaskets as you guys can see here. And the reason for these is because I've been noticing a little bit of water or moisture in the uh, hatch area. So I think these will solve our issue. Um, we'll go ahead, go on back there, pop the taillights out, replace the old ones with these new ones and hope that solves our issue. All right, so in order to get the taillights out, went ahead, removed that little cover there and there should just be four um, nuts that we gotta take out. So we'll get those out, tail light should come out, and we go ahead and replace those gaskets. So there's a gasket. Seems kind of brittle, dry. So hopefully re replacing it will uh, help seal it up better. So now we got both taillights put back together, new gaskets. Uh, would help if I had a couple more screws on that side to help seal it up a little bit more. But other than that, I think that should be better. Hopefully we don't get more water in the trunk. So I'd say that's good. 
So there you guys have it. We got everything done on the Civic that I wanted to get done today. Hopefully the new gaskets in the rear end will keep the uh, moisture out. But as far as everything else goes, the new roof moldings, the garnish, and the belt moldings really improve the overall look of the car, make it look a lot fresher and newer, just because that is a huge common issue with all this stuff to deteriorate. And I, like I said, I know you guys can go through to save a quick buck and paint these or vinyl wrap them or plasti dip them or whatever, but nothing beats that OEM quality. You can see just nice new fresh pieces, blacked out, new felt strip on the inside, so when you roll your window up, it'll be nice, clean, no longer scratching the glass or anything. And uh, it just makes it look so much better. And you guys can compare these again just to see how nasty these stuff were before we swapped them out. It's all brittle, dry, just, just gross. So I'm glad to have it all done and all completed. If you guys are interested in any of the pieces that I used today, I'll link all the part numbers in the description so you guys can go to your local Honda dealership to pick them up. Otherwise, you can order them from the website that I got them from. I ordered them from afhparts.com. It's a uh, Honda Acura site that a buddy of mine recommended to me for all OEM parts. Um, so you guys can go on there, check it out, and uh, get your own parts for your own personal car. But otherwise, hope you guys like this video. If you guys did, make sure you big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.